Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Uh, just working on this uh, waterproof aluminum plank deck called Knotwood. And I got the main deck laid. We still have a, a alternating section going a different direction to lay and uh, some other trim pieces to put up. So that's what we're working on today. Uh, cut all the end grains down um, and just kind of keep on keeping on. All right, so what we've done is we finished laying the main section of the deck and we have a splice where the deck direction goes from this way and then it goes around the corner and then it changes direction and starts pitching this way. So we're taking the decking and we're going we're going to run it from the house out, but then around the corner, we're going to change directions and run the decking this way. On top of that, we had this piece on the end that we had to install just to kind of give it a little bit of a finished edge for our trim piece to hang on to. And so as it gets installed, mostly it was for down here because the deck's a little bit out of square. When this trim piece goes on, it'll cover up all the screws and everything gets installed just like that so that's what we did next now we're starting to cut down and work on the decking we need for this last section I got to open up the corner of the house over here and um, get that going and then it's off to the races from there what's about to happen right now I'm getting ready to cut this piece of aluminum with my track saw but it's kind of loud so uh, always wear eyes and ears when cutting this stuff. What are you cutting it for? Uh, the end of the deck upstairs. It's out of square, so I can't use the table saw. I have to use a track saw. One more thing I need to do. Um, I've got to try and get a cutter head because we have to face screw. This is the only board we'll face screw plank, but I got a tapered screw. So I need to do a countersink. So these go down flush into the top of this. So that's what's next. Um, what, it, what is a countersink? It's a, a pre-cutting, it's like a cutter head that will cut out a bevel in the top of this board so that this screw will sit flush in the top of it. Ooh, that's way too much. Maybe we try a different bit. I don't think that's gonna cut it. Yes. What happened? So I had to go get a different screw that would fit completely flush in the board so that when I pre-drill the holes, there's no surface, that this doesn't stick up above the surface. So now that I've confirmed that, thank you Fasten Master. Um, we're good to go. Hmm. I don't think that's quite enough. I think we'll go up this bit. There we go. That'll work. So this gets put in. The main reason we're doing this is because the far end, because the deck's out of square. We didn't build the deck, but um, we have to deal with the repercussions of it being out of square. So I had to put this little pie piece in and then once that's done, I can cut all the ends after we install this side 
And then this is the trim that goes on that covers up all this. So then that gets screwed through here into here. about to happen right here i'm gonna take our flush cut saw and i'm gonna start cutting the siding so we can get our deck board started underneath the, the siding of the house going to need another starter piece up in this upper corner and it needs to be eight feet long and this is as much as I have left no. <laughs> bless you I have some at the shop and I mean I can go get it Take an hour. yeah about an hour excuse me All right, finish up what we need to finish up what we do we can't we can't lay any more decking until I get this piece do all the trim and stuff. Cut, get cut in. And what do you do? Do you need me to go? Are you comfortable cutting a piece of this down on a chop saw and trying to get it in your car? How if, long is it? Um, eight feet. It needs to be eight feet long. How long is it normal? Eighteen feet. You want to take my truck? Uh. No. I See, mean, I'd the chop you... saw's in there, right? Uh-huh. There's a chop saw right on the right on the floor. You could probably do it. It doesn't matter as long as it's eight feet, right? It needs to be 94 and three quarters. If you cut it eight feet, it'd be safe. It's just, I don't know if you can get it. Maybe put the seat down in the back of your car and stretch it through. I could do that. Okay. All right, so I need this piece. This is called a starter piece, and it allows the first plank to uh, fit into it. And the problem is, um, it's this is only four feet long, or five feet long maybe, and I need an eight footer, so I'm short. So I gotta send my cameraman back to our shop to go pick, go grab a piece of this, cut it down to eight feet, and transport it back here in his car so that we can continue laying decking. Thank you, Calvin. Or thank you, DJ Studio Man. Whoops, it's locked. What I miss when so, I was gone. I was messing around with this thing, getting this part notched and using a little trial sample and uh, kind of wondering if I'm actually gonna be able to get this thing to fit or not. I have no idea. Um, it seems like a struggle, but you know, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna anchor this thing down and, and try to get it installed right now. So few notches um, and some walls that are in the way <laughs> so I don't know we'll see, we'll see what happens right. wish me luck Why is this so hard? Because I'm trying to catch a groove and get it to go under a 2x2 two two that's sticking out, is protruding. And I have to get the whole thing to move and I can't get this part in the groove. I have to start twisting this side down and it's just a challenge. I'm gonna take this oscillating tool and I'm gonna cut out a chunk of the trim to see if I can get the 
um, this plank to dive in and catch the lip. That's the problem right now is I'm not able to get this lip to catch on this side. Oops. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Uh. <laughs> Man, sometimes I amaze myself. It's crazy. That is crazy. <sighs> All right, now that that's done, I can continue laying my deck boards. What's going, what's going here? Right here? Yeah. Nothing. It's just gonna be an open gap for water to collect and decay the deck. It's gonna be awesome. No, actually there's one more piece of decking that needs to go in right here. And it'll go to this side of this slot. And then there's a T-bar with little barbs on it. And then that gets compressed down after I caulk this whole thing. And that's what's gonna keep this waterproof and keep the rain out of it. So there's two different uh, slants on the deck. I know I explained this earlier, but just to reiterate, uh, from this point this way, the deck slopes like this. And from this point this way, the deck slopes like this. So we have opposing slopes right here. I didn't frame this deck, so I have to deal with what's available. So we had to split the seam so that we could get the water to drain correctly off the deck. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time we put out new content, also tick that bell icon. Thank you very much and have a great day.